Now you've done it. Now you really got her excited. Into her cage. She doesn't trust us with her snacks. It's kind of funny. Nobody's ever taken anything away. Ne never. And you then don't play with her food like that. No. I mean, you can. You will, she'll let you have it, but but we don't. We don't. But you know what? I sort of do that. Is it like a biological thing between me and my daughter that like you take your snacks and then you go hide with them, like in case someone changes their mind. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear, but our college son's alarm is going off because he needs to wake up, take a shower, and then go back to his room and do his college work. <laughs> I think it's funny because he's becoming like me. He was up at like 2 a.m. this morning playing video games and stuff. And then he gets up at like 7 or 8 or something yes. like that. Yes. It's back. <laughs> so good morning. It is Tuesday. And uh, we're going to do a full day of eating and a vlog. Mostly because we're going stir crazy. It's it's nutty, right? Are you guys ready like for this to be over? I'm ready for it to be over. Like let's, let's go back to business as usual. I think it's going to be a little while, but... The funny part is, I'm busier now than I was before we were locked into the house. So yeah, um, I did a lot of shipping last night. I was shipping until like 1.30 in the morning because just like a lot of the keto conventions are canceled, a lot of the comic, comic book books. conventions are canceled. So now how are you gonna sell your comic books and toys that we normally, you know, that my brother normally takes to these shows? Well, by mail. So mm -hmm. we're shipping a lot of orders out. In fact, we're out of boxes. Yeah. So we've got to do a curbside pickup from a box company. So today. that's what we're going to go do right now. We're going to go and pick up boxes. Then we are in the middle of working on our Easter and Palm Sunday curriculum. Well, Palm for Sunday the kids first. Mission. Palm Sunday first. But yeah, so we got to do all of that filming and writing. And we're going to do a full day of eating. So I'm starting off the day, it is, we're getting a late jump on the videos. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm starting off the day with one of my last few of the white chocolate peppermint. I'm going to be very sad when they're all gone. I'm still seeing some on Amazon, but number one with a long shipping and like ridiculous prices. So yeah. They're not coming directly from Kai Tu. Kai Tu sold out. Yeah, they're done. Yeah. So uh, love these things. Uh, there is a link down in the description. We are an affiliate of them. You can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos. That'll get you 20% off, but you only get to use the coupon once. But make sure you're so you on their... make it good. Yeah, make sure you're on their like mailing list, though, because they send out deals all the time. Like yesterday, they were doing buy one, get one free. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so just make sure you're always watching. Can you like, double up the coupon? It. No. Well, I don't know if you could double up the coupon. I don't know. No, you can't because it was a coupon, uh, but it was still a great deal. Buy one, get one deal. free. So. Yeah, and I am drinking iced coffee, which I never drink, but I made a pot of coffee at 1.30 in the morning last night. Right. And I got back up at 6 a.m. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste it. So, yeah, I'm drinking black coffee with ice. So, I'm defrosting some pork spear ribs. These are things that we had in the freezer from Butcher Box. We're going to have this. And I think we're going to make uh, corned beef brisket because I've got like five of them. We had a little incident the other night where we came out and the freezer in the main refrigerator wasn't working. We got so scared. So we emptied everything out of it, threw it into all the other freezers to turn out that all I had to do was unplug the refrigerator and plug it back in and it reset the fan. Because that's what was wrong. The fan stopped working. Isn't it bad? Like, we can't be the only people who only clean out things in a satisfactory manner when it looks like they're broken and we're yeah. like, oh, snap. I went and I said to Rachel, good news and bad news. Good news is... The uh, freezer is completely clean. Yes. Bad news is I emptied the freezer for no reason other than to clean the freezer. But it wasn't bad news because, yeah, that's good news. There's nothing wrong. Family picture. And now she's going to get up because she knows we're talking to her. Now, this, not yours. Sit. 
Still can't have it, but... <laughs> I was just like, okay. Look, she I brought should her be toy rewarded. In. Sit. Call her up. Come here, Tab. She always is like taking the guts out of her toys. Yeah. Look at, and she takes the eyeballs off first. That's the first thing she does. Which takes the eyeballs off. really like alarms me that in the wild she would be a serial killer. You something. know, when you would see her on videos like this, you would swear that she's a super active dog. But she has got to be the laziest Couch dog ever. Potato. Take a look at this. All the way to the roof. Yeah. You really can't see that we actually had to undo all of the boxes and play Jenga with I'm, boxes. I am very proud of this Volkswagen, okay? I can vouch for how much. How many boxes do we have in here? 250. 200, 100, so 250, 3, 4, Plus 5, 150 50. bubble mailers. I'm proud. But we want to, like, not have to go out as much as possible. I guess we bought this car just in time. Got to turn off the air so that we can film because the air is blowing on the camera. You better talk fast because I get hot quick. Okay, so while we're driving, we've been talking about we still want chickens. We got to get chickens. We need chickens. We want chickens. I don't, we're idiots, probably. Probably, but we call Tractor Supply and in the midst of all this, especially now in the midst of all this, I definitely want chickens. And Tractor Supply said they might be getting them in on Thursday. Black astrolorbs. Black astrolorbs. But, you know, in the midst of we're idiots yes. and we want chickens in suburbia. I think we should do a pros and cons list. So maybe we should do that because we haven't done that yet. So you want to start? Yes. So pro, we get eggs. That is definitely a pro. We eat a lot of eggs. We eat it close to a dozen eggs a day. So that would be good. That's a pro. Con, we will never have enough chickens to keep up with how much eggs that we eat though. It's gonna take the edge off. Yeah, because I guess we do eat close to a dozen eggs a day. And we ain't get a dozen chickens. And we're only Tell gonna you that get right now. four to five chickens, which means you're looking at three to four eggs a day. And it'll be a while before those babies can poop out some chickens. <laughs> or no, poop out eggs. So you see that speck all the way over there? Let me see if I can zoom in with the little fat rat that's on the ground. That's Rachel's mom. Hi. This is social distancing. Hi. Because we're not allowed to be near her because she is 70 years old. So my mom has a giant stick. <laughs> is that apparently to make people back off if they try to come near you? She's gonna jam them with a stick. Nice. Can't hear her because this is social distancing. We're still getting mail. I'm so excited because I know what this one is. I can't even bring it inside. I need to open it up right here. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is stuff for Anthony's car. That's not important. <laughs> this is the box that's important. Look what I got. Ooh, we haven't tried those. Super coffee. Cold brew cans. Super coffee. Oh, this is the best creamer ever. Sweet cream. I'm excited now. Okay, you can go to work. I'm gonna go drink coffee. Okay, give me another pro. Pro, it's an animal, and I love animals. And it's a baby, they come like babies, and I get to have babies. Okay, so we got all of those boxes for your brother shipping, which means I have no room for our stuff for shipping for our different Two Crazy Ketos merchandise. Well, they can't live here. So these here, guess where they're getting stored? I'll tell you where they're not getting stored. They're going shisha. in the she shed. They're not going in the she shed. Calm. It's a baby, or at least it starts off as a baby, which means Rachel is going to baby it and she's going to carry it around everywhere. It's never going to touch the ground. I'm going to have to worry about all of the money she's going to spend on this baby and I'm going to have to build it a mansion because she's not going to let me put it into a normal size coop. <sighs> so everything is unloaded. Everything is unloaded. It is 12 o'clock. It is hot already. It is ridiculously hot. I don't know how. Alexa, how hot is it? Today, expect a high of 93 degrees Fahrenheit. It's it, March. It's March 31st. It's 93 90s? degrees outside. This is it's going to fair. be a hot summer. So we're Ugh. stuck at home. I'm still not letting anybody turn the air conditioner way down because like, yeah, 
electric. We have to. Everybody's con. home. Like a con. That's a con. <laughs> I feel like so it's noon, and we've been up since like what five thirty six a.m. And yeah. I feel like we've gotten a lot accomplished, but nothing accomplished. Right. Do you guys ever feel that way where you, halfway through the day you're like, I did a lot, but I didn't get anything accomplished? Well, there's just so much more to do. Yeah. <laughs> so we have, you have shipping. I do. We still have to film, but we've been, I feel like we got all that done. We went and got all the boxes. We unloaded. That was a half to situation. We actually got rid of some of the church stuff, like the supplies. We sent the kids over to go through the back door to not be exposed to anybody. No but, talking to anybody. Yeah, go stick it in the storage room at the church. But we still have to film all of our stuff. We want to work on a recipe video. I mean, so we, I feel like we're doing a lot, but and not everything that needs to be done. Somewhere in there we need to eat. I need a 48 hour day. Well, we're going to, we do have to go work on one of the crafts. We're going to do like a bubble thing. I'm really excited about that. But I'm going to take a break with some coffee. And I've got a half a scoop of the perfect keto salted I'm caramel. A sip of that. And I also have one tablespoon of the super creamer. The, my favorite super creamer is the sweet cream, but I do one tablespoon, which is only a third of a serving, and then a half a scoop of this. I feel like my face is that. <laughs> I feel like I'm not hitting all of my targets for today. Like a stormtrooper. I am going to actually have one, one, just one of these keto cookies from Perfect Keto. Mostly because it's sitting on the desk and it's calling my name. It's like, Joe! Yeah, because... What you doing? I took the boxes that we got and they're in the freezer because, I don't know, I like them frozen. It makes me... It lets me, like, eat them slower. Right. Plus, all the chocolate chips and stuff don't melt. And in the freezer is out of sight, out of mind. Yes. For me. And that helps me not eat them as much. We need a couple degrees of separation. But somehow this pack was sitting on the counter. Like, I accidentally... Possibly left one out. Left one out. But I'm going to do a Rachel Dunk thing. It's the dunk. These are really good dunking. You want to it? No. It would be good. Split one cookie with me. Okay. Here. The thing is, is that yesterday when I was making stuff for our Instagram stories, mm. I was dunking and eating. <laughs> dunk and eat. Dunk and eat. And I ate like a couple packages. So, the other thing is... Hold on. Justin from Perfect Keto reached out to me, mm -hmm. and they're going to let us give some of these cookies away. Okay. I know that awesome. people are like, hey, I don't know if I want to buy them. I don't know if I want to buy an entire box. They're a little expensive. So, here's what we're doing. He's letting us give Free? two different people a box of cookies, your choice of flavor. So, we're going to have two winners for one box of cookies, 24 cookies. Rachel likes this one. I like them both. I just like this one better. I don't think I let anybody wrong when I said lean towards the peanut butter and jelly nut butter no. that they have in their nut butter line. Like, right. I can pick the good one. Yeah. This is, this is the awesome. So, here's what we're going to do. All you need to do to enter is leave like this video, mm -hmm. be subscribed to the channel, yep. and leave a comment down below. Any comment will win. If you don't want the cookies and you want to leave a comment, just a general comment, right. just put somewhere in your comment, hey, I don't want to win, and that will allow us to then pick somebody else. And we're going to run this for, um, I guess we're going to run it until, what, Sunday? Yeah, let's do it. Sunday. Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. We will announce the winner. We will draw the winner. We'll go you can go till five o'clock on Sunday, and then we'll draw the winner and we'll do a specific video just announcing the winner. So two winners, one box of cookies each, your choice of flavors. It's gonna come directly from Perfect Keto. Right. Uh, the only so rule- So we won't have any of my touching No, on we your won't box. touch it. It's gonna come directly from Perfect Keto. It's not coming from Perfect Keto to us and then to you guys. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the only rule is you have to live in the continental United States. Sorry. Okay, so you have to like the video, leave a comment down below, be subscribed to the channel, and you have to live in the continental United States, and we will make, do the drawing at 5 p.m. on Palm Sunday. Sorry, Hawaii. Maybe we, we love you. Maybe we can go live and do it. 
Maybe. 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 We sound like those seagulls in Finding Nemo. Mine. 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 Maybe. Mine. Maybe. If you are interested in these, this video is coming out on Wednesday, April first. No joke. You have no joke about that. You have a couple more days. There's a link down below. You can still get some of the cookies. It is 15% off of one box, 20% off of two boxes, 30% off of three boxes. So your choice. So links down below, use that link. It does help support the channel. That link will also automatically put the coupon right into your cart. Con, they poop a lot. And I'm gonna be the one that's stuck cleaning it up. Probably. But pro, they eat all the bugs in the yard. Okay. That's a good one. Okay, it's one o'clock and we're gonna have a small meal right now. What we've been trying to do is break it up where one day we do an OMAD, one day we do like three meals, one day we do two meals. Sometimes we eat early, sometimes we eat late. Kinda wanna like fool our body and trick our body and not let it get used to any one particular thing. We had a casualty in the eggs. We lost an egg. Are you ready to eat? I'm totally ready to eat. Okay, you can't eat until you give me a pro or a con. Okay, so con, they're probably going to dig up our backyard completely. I think I need some mustard. For eggs? For eggs. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what I've got. I've got, if we can have it not fall off, I've got three eggs. Um, they're going to look over medium, but they're really not. They're sunny side up, but what I do is I put them on the black stone and then I put a cover over it, like a melting dome, just to kind of glaze it over a little bit because I don't want to flip them. Of course, this is the one that had the little casualty. Then I've got five of these sausages. We showed them once before. We get these at Costco and hey, they are really, really delicious. These are Amy Lou's, these are chicken breakfast sausages. And uh, three of them are 130 calories, eight grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, one total carbohydrate, less than one gram of dietary fiber. So one carb, basically. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking right now? What's I, that? I think we just got a name for one of our chickens. Nice. Amy Lou. Then I have an ounce of this cheese. And this is a cheese, you're gonna like this, that we got from Aldi's, and it is a coffee-crusted cheese. Oh, wow. Okay, so now Rachel's got three eggs, but she likes hers, like, over-disgusting well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that that's the scientific name How do you it. like your eggs? Over-medium, scrambled, over-easy, sunny shine up, poached eggs. We wanna make some scotch eggs. She's got three of the sausages, an ounce of the cheese, and then some mustard. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of Redmond's real salt on the top of it. We got this thing. It makes me feel so fancy because you can just kind of. Oh yeah. Like do that. And I'm trying this. And I'm gonna drink water. I got water. You gonna try that? Let's yeah. try that. Oh wow, that is smooth. Okay, so this is, this came in though we've never tried it before. It's black. Super cold brew, cold brew with L-theanine, 250 milligrams of caffeine, unsweetened black coffee. So there's 20 calories in the can. There is zero fat, two grams of protein, three total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber, so it's two net carbs. The ingredients are cold brewed coffee, L-theanine and green coffee extract, and yes, Coffee does have carbs in it. So a lot of people don't realize that, but car coffee does have carbs. Now you are not a black coffee I'm not guy, a black coffee fan. But you're gonna appreciate, this is not bitter. Ooh, that is good. It's like smooth. That is really, really good. It's really smooth. Never tried it before. We're gonna have to order some of that. Yeah. So, okay, so my turn, pro. What was your con? My con was they're gonna dig up the backyard, because they will. Well, pro, we don't go out in the backyard that often, so who cares? We had to come back because this tastes like nothing. It's good. <laughs> tastes like cheese, but I don't take, taste any coffee, do you? I don't taste any coffee at all. Maybe if you lick the outside. I licked it. And you still don't taste coffee. It tastes like dirt. No. Doesn't have a coffee taste. So chickens are probably the cheapest pet to purchase. It's not even gonna be like $3 to purchase this yeah, pet. Yeah, I think the local place around here, it's two seventy-five dollars for a day old chicken. 
There you go. I got a great con for that though. They may be cheap to buy, but by the time I build a giant hen house, because you're gonna make it be bigger than my shed, right? And you're gonna buy a warmer and then all the chicken feed, we will never make our money back on the eggs. We'd be better off just continuing to buy pasture raised free range eggs. We'll be living on love though. So I came home from dropping off shipping to this. We are getting the green screen ready to tape the curriculum for Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. And Tabitha is really excited to help. Of course, as soon as we start filming, Tabitha decides she's gonna come sit at our feet. She's like, are you gonna cook something? <laughs> So we're taking a little break from filming the preschool lessons for Palm Sunday. So you can set up our object lesson for which the is next bubbles bit. And then I'm going to do a Zoom meeting with toddler teachers. I'm finding it interesting that, let's face it, we run a keto YouTube channel. We are so used to being in front of the camera. We're used to editing, yet when you look at how important these videos are, we keep screwing up. We spent like two and a half, three hours filming what's probably gonna be- Four minutes. I'd say 10 minutes, 10 okay. minutes of footage. But here's the thing. We're not used to acting. We're no, used to talking and being ourselves. Right. So we're like, oh my goodness, Mr. Joe. Like the, you have to overemphasize. because And talking, Rachel's really good at that. Well, we're talking to three-year-olds. Me? I'm like, what, you, what is the nice way to say what you always say I have? Resting. Mean face. Yeah, there, let's go with that. <laughs> so let's go back to our pros and cons. So what do you have, pro or con? Pro, I get to name them. Con, if you name them, I can't eat them. This, this is true, you can't eat them. Poor Tabitha, she's been stuck out here. She's like, I just want to play. There's a gate in my way. And you guys are hanging out in this other room and I don't get to see you at all. She's very depressed about it. So we have one video left. One left. And then the entire Palm Sunday for preschool is done. Hey, we got to take these things one task at a time. Of course, this is going to be the most difficult video to do because... We've got to do bubbles and bubbles and blow giant bubbles and not get it on top of my camera, our TV, my computer, or the background paper. Challenge accepted. So it's almost eight o'clock. We haven't eaten dinner. I'm so glad we decided to not do OMAD today and had those three eggs for lunch. I would not have made it. That was a good call. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be angry at this time, not because I can't intermittent fast, but if I haven't planned it yeah. and it's sprung on me, I get I get ticked off. Worst thing I can ever do is tell Rachel like, hey, we're gonna fast today unless I told her like the day before or two days before. How about we not go fast today, okay? <laughs> so anyway, it's we're almost done. We've got the most difficult video like we said to do, but we're like, you know what? How can we make sure we can eat right away when we're done? We do have some ribs, so we at least have that. We have a, a small rack of ribs, Your not backup a lot. meat. But we said, you know what? It's Tuesday, Buffalo Wild Wings, buy one, get one free. Our boys can actually drive now. So let's order wings. We'll even spring for 15 for them. Guys, you go pick them up this way. By the time they get back, we're all good. No, you're not good. Buffalo Wild Wings is sold out of wings. What's happening? They're sold out of wings. What? 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 Fortunately, we have lots of eggs. Yeah. We have lots of ground beef, though none of the ground beef is defrosted. We do have probably about 40 of those frozen hamburgers we get from Sam's Club or Costco. That'll work. So we got a half a rack of ribs and eggs and bacon? burgers. Bacon? Anthony ate all of our bacon that was defrosted. Kid is grounded. <laughs> we just flooded the family room. Flooded the family room with bubbles, but I think we got it. Now we just gotta hope 
that all the footage transfers well to the computer. I can't believe you are talking about church and crossing your fingers. Like it's a luck <laughs> thing. Hashtag blessed. So it's 810. I'm not going to try to edit videos right now. Although we have to edit this vlog tonight so we can get it up for tomorrow morning. <laughs> I am going to go turn on the Blackstone. Yes. And I'm going to get some burgers for everybody in the family going. And some eggs. Unfortunately, the kids ate the bacon. But you and I have ribs. Food. 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 Okay, now I feel like our day is accomplished. Why don't you come closer so you're not like so far away? Merry, I don't. Merry Christmas, everybody. I don't smell. You're wearing my shirt. It's so relaxing now. <laughs> so this was a long day. I think it was productive. It was super productive. So we went and picked up boxes. You got all the shipping done. We filmed everything for our preschool class. I started working on a video. Did we a Zoom shot meeting. a vlog. You did a Zoom meeting. Kept up with the laundry. Kept up with the laundry. I say it was pretty productive. I say I deserve some ribs. Okay, so second meal of the day. A lot of times we've been omatting, but I want. We're trying to change things up, like what we've talked about, like a little bit each day. Uh, so we had the eggs earlier. So here's what I have. I have one third pound burger. This is like a. 8515 burger from like Walmart, not uh, Walmart, from Sam's Club. Oh, like the The sleeve. big, big ones. Yeah, the big sleeve. Two eggs, sunny side up. I've got some garlic dill sauerkraut. I'm excited about we that. We got this from Aldi's. That is good. Mmm. We're on the refrigerated section, so it's still got some of the good active cultures in there. Oh, wow. We've got a few Jarle uh, Jolene's pickles. You want to say Jarlene? Jarlene, yeah, Jolene. Jolene's pickles, it's like with a kick, garlic with a kick. Wow. Then we've got, each got a half a rack of spare ribs. That is a kick. Which we got from Butcher Box. They, we happened to find them in the freezer, we forgot about them. That was a happy That was the find. happy thing. Add a little bit of salt onto this. Hit me. Hit you. Thank you. Ooh, <laughs> mazel tov. Okay, I'm probably gonna top my ribs with a little bit of alternative sweets. This is awesome barbecue sauce. I like only my ribs two net carbs. Plain. I just like a little bit. Sometimes I like it like a dipping thing. I don't like them slathered anymore. I got a grape Waterloo. What do you got? <laughs> One that's much better. Strawberry. Waterloo. And then depending on how we feel, we've each got a serving of our yogurt. You can see that video over Rachel's head. It makes awesome. Good. It's kind of like sour cream. There you go. It's thick. It's thick. It is really thick. I like it like this. You can put a few drops of stevia in it, monk fruit. Sometimes we put some like granola over the top. I'm not a sweet yogurt person. Okay, so before we finish this off, um, any more pros and cons for chickens? Well, I do know that there is a one con, a potential con, and that is what if the other animals don't get along with it? Yeah, but the, the pro would be Tabitha likes everybody. She likes yes. all people. Like, she'd be the worst guard, guard dog in the world. Of course, she heard her name, so now she's up. She's like, come on in. The cats, she wants to be best buddies with them. She does. She loves the bird. Here she is. She's the so bird sweet. doesn't always love her, though. But sometimes the bird does. Like, the bird will call her over, and they'll kind of play together a little bit. She's trying to balance. She would get to be a mom. A mom? Even though she's fixed. In the end, what are we doing? Chickens or no chickens? What do you guys think? Should we get chickens? We're going to see if they even are in stock on Thursday. Yeah, so if they get them, I want them. I think it's time. Time to get some backyard chickens. So guys, don't forget about the giveaway yes. for the keto cookies, perfect keto cookies. Get a box for free. All you got to do is leave a comment down below, be subscribed to the channel, and hit the like button on this video. Two people get a box of cookies, and you still have an opportunity to order some right now with the link down below. I don't know if you can tell though, I'm really excited right now about this food. Food, yeah, food, been a long day. That's our video for today. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye, bye guys.